now let's look at this error too many attempts made for this increment if we look at that particular example that there was an error and that error happened when increment number 11 the solver made one two three four up to five attempts so after five attempts the solver throws an error if we look at the particular job that is aborted and uh, we can go to monitor here we can see for increment number 38 the first attempt was made and the time increment was 1 e to the power minus 6 and then it did not converge so it made a second attempt and uh, that time the time increment was reduced by four times so it was 1 e to the power minus 6 and it becomes 2.5 e to the power minus 7 so the solver tries to reduce the time increment and to see if it can reach any solution so this is our first cutback from uh, first attempt to second attempt and then another cutback was used in this uh, increment number 38 from second to third attempt and again in this time for the third attempt the time increment was reduced by four times again so during these uh, two cutbacks the time increment for increment number 38 has been reduced from 1e to the power minus 6 up to 6.2e to the power minus 8. So that is about 16 times. And uh, by reducing it to 16 times, the solver could overcome the nonlinearity that was occurring at increment number 38. So by default, the number of attempts are five. So uh, the solver will try to cut back up to five times and each time reducing the increment size by about uh, four times. Just using five cutback attempts might not be sufficient to overcome some of the nonlinearities. So if you give the solver the flexibility that if required in some increment that cutback attempts are higher such that uh, the solver reduces the minimum time increment lower lower until it gets a convergence then you increase your chance to get the convergence in the overall job but as i said the default number of cutback attempts are five you can increase the maximum number of uh, cutbacks by going to step module and then others and then general solution control and then edit and select your particular step in our case step one then going to time incrementation tab and then going to more tab the second tab and uh, then adjust the value of ia let's see how it looks in abacus so here we are in job module let's go to step module and then we will find this other tab go to general solution control edit and we will edit our step one and in that there is a warning of course these are for advanced users so continue and here in this uh, second tab of uh, time incrementation if we go to this uh, more or the second tab then we will find this ia and it says that the maximum number of cutbacks are five so just uh, uh, we cannot edit it right away we have to go to specify tick that and after that it is possible to edit the field value so let's make it to be say 15 and by that we are allowing abacus to use more cutbacks and at the same time giving it more possibility to converge to a solution